so my discovery grant is looking at how older men with prostate cancer are managing different therapies, particularly when their disease has spread. So my research is looking at how do men tolerate these therapies and what sort of side effects might they get and how do these side effects um, affect their day-to-day -day living and more importantly, what might we be able to do as a healthcare profession, nursing, medicine, physiotherapy, to help men cope with these symptoms better. In the current study, the Discovery Grant has funded us to look deeper into one cycle of treatment, so three to four weeks of treatment, but asking men how they're doing every single day to understand the ups and downs of their pain, their sleeping difficulties, nausea, diarrhea, any symptoms they might have on a day-to-day -day basis. That way we'll really get a detailed picture of what they're coping with and how they may be suffering and what sort of supports they may need to help reduce some of those symptoms and help them cope better. We're looking at a more vulnerable population that tends to have more side effects, but at the same time, they're not studied as much in the clinical trials because they're more complicated and they have these other medical conditions. And so they're in greater need, but they're studied less often. So they're a population that we're really concerned about and want to make sure that they get the best treatment. If we can keep people on treatment longer with fewer side effects, people are more likely not to stop therapy, not to need a dose reduction, not to need a delay in subsequent therapies. And all of these things are likely to lead to better disease control and ultimately better survival.